Good morning. Hey, I'm Dawn, that farm wife here at Daybreak Farm. Uh, today, I need to make uh, some chicken pot pies. Um, I'm just making them for the freezer. Um, I joined a bereavement um, group uh, at our church, and so they serve or bring meals to people who have just lost a loved one. And so because I work, I might not always be ready for that. So I decided to just make some ahead meals and put them in the freezer just for that purpose. And you know, if they don't get used, we can always use them. They won't go to waste. So what I'm gonna do is start with the whole chicken uh, because that's what I have. Um, you can use whatever chicken you have. This is just happens to be how I'm having to do this, okay? Um, chicken pot pie is really not that hard. Um, but I'm going to, it is frozen rock solid. Um, I'm going to give it a little salt. Um, I'm going to get inside the cavity, but like I said, a little frozen solid there. Just going to add some pepper. I think this is one of our chickens that we spatchcocked. You know, you cut out the backbone, but like I said, it's frozen solid. So doing my best here. A little pepper. I'm gonna put some poultry seasoning in it. Just because I like that flavor. And I'll probably use that inside the chicken pot pie. So I'm gonna cook it in my pressure cooker. Um, I don't have an Instapot, I have a Ninja Foodie, so it pressure cooks and it has an air fryer in it. Um, so I'm not gonna explain the whole process of pressure cooking. Um, if you have one, you've got instructions, read them. Um, but I'm just going to tell you about how how this works basically. I'm putting the chicken in here, seasoned it. I've got um, I've got some water. You need to put probably at least a half a cup of water in with this. It's going to make its own juice. But I also added uh, some chicken bouillon, Whew. and I heated it up. And I'm going to put that in there. Just so it has a little bit of extra flavor. Um, because the thing about when you butcher your own chickens, uh, I don't know if you know the difference, but the ones in the store, they've been injected with um, a salt solution. So they're already pretty salty and already fairly seasoned. Um, but so the chickens we process, they don't have any of that. So you want to give them some good salt, some good flavor. Um, but anyway, so we'll get that started. And then while that's cooking, I'm actually going to go out and pick some blueberries for breakfast. And then I will get the pie crust and the inside filling ready so that when the chicken's done, I'll just pull off the meat, mix it all together, put it in the pans. It'll be ready to freeze. So quick freezer meals for, you know, anything. All right. So well, let's get this started. I'm going to put the lid on. Actually, wash my hands. So when you're starting it, every pressure cooker should have a vent. So you want to close that vent so that it can come up to pressure. So I'm turning mine on. And, and it, this, the Ninja Foodie has a bunch of different settings. Um, it can pressure cook, it air crisp, um, you can broil, slow cook, sear, saute, steam. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna do pressure cook this on high and because it is frozen solid, I'm gonna do it for 45 minutes. All right, that's it, 45 minutes. Um, I'll probably let it release the steam on its own because I'll be busy doing some other things. And we'll get going on the other side. Okay, chicken's done. I may have gotten a little sidetracked. A um, bunch more things. I haven't really gotten my ingredients together in my pie crust for the rest of this. But let me just, taking that out, you see I just opened the lid. It actually had done pressure cook for 45 minutes and it I let it self-release. It's been in here for an extra another 45, 44 minutes. But this should just be fall off the bone ready. 
how we're gonna get it out of there. Always a trick. Oh yeah, the legs just fell off, so it's for sure done. So I'm just gonna set this out and let it cool so that I can pull the meat off of it. I'm not quite sure how many pot pies I'm gonna get made. I'm hoping for three or four. I think that would be plenty out of one chicken, don't you? I got some pans, some aluminum pans, so the dishes don't have to come back to me. All right, so I got that out. Looks good. Next up, I'm gonna turn this off. So while the chicken's cooling, I decided to go ahead and make my pie crust. Um, and I am using the recipe off of the side of the, uh, oh, this is armor lard. I thought it was manteca. Oh, it is manteca. The armor lard. Anyway, maybe manteca means lard. Uh, maybe I'm speaking Spanish. I don't know. Um, all right. So the recipe is on the side of this jar. I really like it. Um, and you know, I've got my own lard that I made or rendered, um, but I've had this in the pantry for a while. So I want to use it up. So for one double and one single, or th three single crusts, is three cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a cup of armor lard, and a third cup of water not iced. I know you might be used to putting ice water in your um, pie crust, but this recipe says you don't need it. All right, so let's get, let's get something. Which I hate when that happens. I thought I just grabbed it. No, I got it. All right, three cups of flour. I started using this recipe for the, oh shoot, was that three? Gosh darn it. One. Yeah, that's, that's three. Um, I started using this recipe last year for um, my pies at Christmas or Thanksgiving. Teaspoon and a half of salt, and I really liked it. Cup of the armor. Let's get a little extra in because there was an air pocket, so let's get that in there. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm following it correctly because I'm just going, you know, doing it the way I've always done it. All right, pastry blender, and you just want to cut in the. Um, lard until you have some pea size um, chunks. All right, that looks pretty good. And so now we're just going to pour in one third cup of water. And I'm gonna use a fork to stir that up with.
think this is going to need a little bit more water. We'll see. It says press together with a knife. I don't know about that method. You don't really want to work your pie crust dough too much because it'll make it tough. But I am going to get just a little tiny bit of water. Ooh, this, that might have been too much water. Let's see. So I'm gonna divide this dough in two thirds. And if I have enough feeling to do more, I'll just make another crust. kind of go by feel like this one seems like it's got a little bit more than the other one yeah that middle one was bigger all right I'm gonna put them back in my bowl cover it with some saran wrap to keep it moist while I make the filling for the filling this is really easy stuff we're going to use some canned cream of chicken soup, some veg all or mixed vegetables, maybe a little extra corn, mix it all up, add a little milk. Then we're gonna probably season this up a little bit, like I said, with some poultry seasoning, maybe some sage. Give it that hearty pot pie taste. And to me, I wanted, you know, I told you what this was for the bereavement um, ministry. I wanted comfort food, so this was my idea. And I was hoping that it was one of those things that possibly nobody else had thought of. You know, everybody kind of goes for the spaghettis and um, lasagna, and that was my first thought, thought because I make a really good lasagna. Uh, I'm going to add some milk to that. I've got two cans of soup, so I'm going to do one can of milk. And, if, and I'm, honestly, I'm just winging this, okay? I'm just making this up as I go. I like that, that's a good consistency. So two, two cans of the veg all. And I did one can of all corn, so it could be just a little extra corny. So I'm gonna get some seasonings, maybe doctor this up just a little bit, and then we'll add the chicken. All right, so what I decided on for seasonings was some poultry seasoning. And I'm just gonna kinda eyeball this, maybe, maybe a teaspoon. Some rubbed sage. And some minced onion. 
just because there were no onions in here. And palm full of some minced onions. I wish I could say I dried these myself, but I did not. But there you go. And I think the chicken is probably, it's cool enough to go ahead and take off the bone. So I want some big chunks in here, nice big chunks of chicken. All right, no rocket science here to taking chicken off the bone. I take off all the skin. shredded. Let's put some in the filling. Let's adjust our camera. There we go. I think that looks pretty good and I've got a little chicken left over. So I don't know, I might um, I'll either save it for something else or just depending, I might make up even more pot pies just to have them. All right, so let's put this into pans and I've got bought these at Walmart. You know, I really would have liked a pie tin, but they didn't have any. Maybe at Christmas time or Thanksgiving they'll have those. Um, and typically when I make um, pot pie, I will... Oh, it's on my hands. Don't worry, it's just chicken. Um, I do a crust on the bottom, but because this is going to be frozen and baked at somebody else's house, I'm just going to put the filling in and put the crust on the top. All right, well, that didn't go as far as I liked. I think I'm going to mix up some more, but I'm gonna show you how to finish this before I do all that. All right, so let's start making the crust. Well, rolling out the crust, we've already made it. Good floured surface. Get one of the doughs. I'm gonna try to roll this out in a square. All right, let's just cut around that. All 
Oh, now would also be a good time to make the slits in it. Let's not get too crazy. That's just to vent it while it's cooking, but it looks kind of pretty. All right, how fun is that? I'm just gonna mush it into the sides. go back the other way. I'm going to do the non-shiny side. No particular reason. Oh, you know what? Let's be smart. Let's write the instructions on how to cook it on here, and that would be a lot harder to do if it was already on the pan. So let's do this. In fact, you can see where this is going to go. So we're going to do thaw, bake at 375 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Because really, all you're doing is heating this through and cooking the crust, right? Oh, and we'll put on top here what it is. It's chicken pot pie. That way they know what it is. All right, now we're ready to start. So I decided after I had two made up, and I made up some extra... Um, filling um, that I remembered that a cheese on top would be a good idea. So this one will be extra special. It's going to have some cheese on top. I don't typically do this, but I was kind of looking up recipes and what I do is I'll go look at like 10 recipes and then kind of make it up. You know what I mean? I just kind of take from everything that I've, I've seen. Oh, and I had a little tiny bit of filling left over, so I decided to put it in this little ramekin and so that we can bake it and eat it for lunch. Let's see, to do a little taste test. So we'll put some cheese on that one too. Make it extra delicious. All right, so I just need to roll out another crust. For my attempt at being creative. I'm gonna pop that in the oven. We'll see how it turns out. Here's the taste test. Let's see how this turned out. It's gonna be hot. Mmm. Cheesy. <laughs> That's pretty good. I've never put cheese in pot pie before, but this turned out really good. I like my little crusty thing on top. Let's see the chicken. Mm. See it steaming oh, and dripping all over the floor. Oh, 
want to talk with my mouth full. It's kind of gross. But anyway, that was super good. I'm happy with the way that turned out. Now I'll, I know that when I send it along to somebody's house, it'll be okay. Thanks for joining me today, making these pot pies. Uh, I hope you try it. You can use it for your own self, your own self. I've been living in the South too long, maybe. No offense to the South, okay? Um, for making your own make-ahead meals. And, you know, if you were a little bit more prepared than I am, you would have had all this figured out and down pat. But I'm just kind of winging it, making up my stuff. Get, and I'm only making one dish. Now, if I was one of those people who filled up my freezer with freezer meals, and they did a whole day of cooking. Yeah, I'd have to be a little bit more organized. But this is kind of what I'm doing today. Just wanted to get it done so I would have it just in case. All right, thanks for joining me, and hope you enjoy your day. Bye.